action. Yeah, that's good. So I know a lot of you guys are using your cell phones whenever you're filming any type of situation. Now, cell phone cameras are really good. In fact, with the right lighting, these are pretty much untouchable for being such a small device. But there is some other products out there that are a little bit better. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the DJI Pocket 2. Now, the reason I picked this up is because this is a creator's edition that has a microphone that you can clip on you and you have a camera that can follow you. So I can be able to do other things that I can't do on this channel using these black magic cameras. So in today's video, I put together like a little montage of me filming my car. And I'm also going to show you guys all the content and some extra things I bought for it. Now I do have that review for the car coming out probably months from now because I have so many TV videos and other videos to do for you guys. So uh, I'm going to go and fill in the gap with some things that I think will be useful for you. So sit back, relax. Let's get started. So here we have the DJI Creators Combo Kit. Now I'm going to show you everything that comes in the box, but this gives you a rough idea. Also, if you turn it around here to the back side, you can see that it has applications. There's a barcode for it and it is compatible with Android and Apple devices. So here's the case that I purchased for it to hold everything. And this case cost me about $15. I'll leave a link in the description below, but here's everything you're going to get with it. You get the camera and it has this little case for it, which uh, this is a little tight. But down here, there's a magnet that holds the wide angle piece. You can see right there. Now you get the wireless microphone, which is pretty cool. And the reason I got the external microphone is so I can clip it on to my shirt, but it has a nice microphone built in. This also comes with uh, one of those wind screens. So that's good. Uh, they call it dead cat. So you can talk in the wind. And then here's an adapter that you that works with the wireless transmitter. And it also gives you a uh, screw on paste for the tripod. Also, it uses USB-C, which is pretty cool. And you can see, nice little adapter. Now, the other pieces that it comes with is it comes with a lanyard, so you can put it around your wrist in case you're filming outside of your window of your car, you don't drop it. And it comes with this uh, unique splitter. So you basically plug that into a USB, and then it has one end that goes into the camera and the other end that goes into the wireless microphone. Now, I've been testing it, so you're gonna get at least two or three hours, maybe more, use out of it according to what I've been seeing so far. Now let's take a closer look at the device itself. Now this Pocket 2 is a three axis gimbal. So it can go this way, this way, or this way. On the side of it, there's a microphone. There's also a slot for a micro SD card. I got a 64 gig. On the front of it, it has a little display. And if you slide this cover off, you then can put this on here. This is going to allow you to switch to the different modes and then also zoom. And then again, that's a pretty cool feature. Now, if you have an Android device, you're going to use this adapter so you can use your phone as a screen. And if you have an iOS device, this is the Apple device. You would plug that in and then you would plug your phone in kind of like that right there. Now, that's not stable, but they do make different holders for it. But let's slide this back out. And at the bottom here, you're going to find another microphone, a record indicator, and then this actually, you can hit it multiple times to make the gimbal change different directions. There's another microphone here, a power button, and a slot for a lanyard. And on the back, there's another microphone. So this has four microphones on it, which is pretty impressive. Now you can put this bottom piece on, and this is just your standard uh, piece there. This allows you to use it with a tripod. See right there. And like I showed you guys earlier, this was the microphone piece. Now the cool thing about the microphone piece is it has a slot right there so you can add external microphone as well. Now a lot of companies do make these. These are ND filters. And I used these when I was filming the car video. So it's so much sunlight. This is like putting sunglasses on it because if you do direct sunlight, you can have problems with overexposure and everything's gonna come washed out. So again, these work really well. And they're magnetic, so they stick right on the front of the unit. Just go in here. And look at that, magnetic. The camera has three different shooting modes. The first one I'm going to show you guys is called LPV, which is first person view. 
And this is ideal whenever you want to move the camera around and still maintain a focus of being straight. So if it goes up or down, it's gonna kind of have this feeling of like it's a drone. So let me show you guys an example of that. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is a feature called tilt lock. So as I turn this, you can see it's still locking into my face and making it look straight. So that's pretty cool. It's almost like a snake looking at you. Look at that. Now the next feature I'm gonna show you guys is called follow mode. And basically it puts these little boxes on your head and it follows wherever you go with some limitations. Now keep in mind that I record my videos in 60 frames per second, but to do the follow mode, it will not work in 4K 60 frames per second. So I lowered the resolution down to 4K 30 frames per second. So it might look a little di different. So let's check it out. Look at that, pretty cool. So here's another way you can use the follow feature. So let's say for example, I can do almost a 180 degree shot just by looking straight ahead and moving my arm around. And if you had someone filming for you, you can kind of get this circle look and kind of like they use on some of those movies when they're thinking or kind of doing something. Pretty cool feature. To set it up very easy, all you need to do is put that adapter on that I showed you earlier. Then go over to your app store and type in DJI Memo. Go ahead and open it up. And then when you plug it in, it's going to go ahead and walk you through all the steps. So now we're gonna take a look at the different controls you get inside of the application. So at the top here, you have your home button and that just basically takes you back to the main. And under the editing mode, you can actually edit your own videos right here in the device. You have profile and this actually where you can go in and uh, set up your account by hitting this gear up in the corner. You can also set it up for uh, Wi-Fi or mobile network. So you have all your controls in there. So now we've seen the home, you can hit the M button and you can see here on the screen, this is where you can manually control the ISO, the shutter speed, and some other features down here at the bottom. And if you hit automatic, it makes everything automatic. Only thing is you can see it, it can get a little bit of washed out and it can constantly change. But let's go back over here to uh, the manual mode. Now, if, since I am filming at 60 frames per second, we wanna bump that up to, one, keep that on 120. And let's say, let's go ahead and do uh, 800 on the ISO. So that looks good. The button below that is where you can change the different frame rates. So you can see you can do 1080p, 7.2K or 4K, which I'm filming now. And there's some options for the different frame rates. There's also a battery saving mode and a high quality mode. So if you're not looking to save battery, definitely put on that high quality mode. Now this one's not available right now, but these are some like glamour shots. So, you know, a lot of people do those, making your face look like different ways you could do it with that, but you, it's only gonna work at 1080p. Then uh, the top button on the other side is where you can um, uh, switch the camera around to the other direction, which we're not going to do on this particular one. Uh, below that, that's a recentering button. And I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen here. There's some controls. So you can manually control, control it right there. Then you have a record button. Next, you have the di different tilt features. So you can just touch the screen. It goes through that. Then that button allows you to select all the different uh, items that you want to use on your video. Then on the sidebar here, you can do live screen, but there are some limitations. You also can do uh, like this is Instagram stories. You have panoramic, photo, video, HDR video, slow motion, and you have some time-lapse and hyperlapse. So that's pretty much the features in there. Let's say if we hit the three lines here at the bottom, then I can switch off the pro mode. You can turn off the grids off and on. You also have focus mode where you can do AFC or AFS. And then if you have flickering, you can turn that off uh, just in case you're filming lights. And you can see there's all kinds of settings for your color. So since I just got this unit, I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. Now there's a lot of other settings in this camera and I'm not gonna go over everything, but if you slide your fingers down, you have your different settings right here. Just same thing I showed you guys on the application. If you slide upwards, again, there's more controls. 
And if you go this way, that's where you can change all the different profiles. So now you guys are listening to the DJI Pocket 2 microphone that's built into it. Now the great thing is, is with the Creators Kit, if you have this microphone, all you need to do is find the USB, plug it in, give it a minute to transmit, and it automatically switches over to this so you don't miss a beat. So that's a cool feature that you can use. And now, again, I'm talking from this microphone, and I got that wired microphone, so again, I can hide it because having this big box on your shirt probably doesn't look cool. But without further ado, here's my video that I filmed on the DJI of my new 430i. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you go and subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace!